Okay, so those were classes. If you don't fully understand what classes are, are, don't worry. We will be using classes all over the course and you will get the chance to, to, to figure out what classes are. For the meantime, just have the idea that they are objects, well, they are template for creating objects. And the object we are going to be treating is our request and our response, right? So our request handler needs to handle incoming re requests and serve outbound responses. So our request handler, this one here, is a template for handling this request, okay? Okay, so then what do we have next? Well, def get, what is def, the def keyword? The def keyword in Python defines a new function. And then after the def keyword comes the function name. So this name is called get. Why is it called get? Well, we are serving or we are handling get requests, right? So this is why this is called this is called get because we want to serve get requests. So the get handler of this request has a one line of code which basically says write a response to our client and the content of this response must be hello world. Okay, so essentially we're writing hello world to the response of our client or our user. So again, our class request handler has a function get, which handles get requests. And our get request, all we're doing with it is sending back a response. So we are writing a response to our request handler of, and the content of this response is going to be hello world. And then behind the scenes, our request handler, so self, is the class we are using. So in this case, it's our main handler, which extends on the web app to request handler. So self is going to go ahead and behind the scenes, send this response to our user. Okay, so hopefully this wasn't too confusing. Like I said before, don't worry if you don't fully understand it. We are going to be using request handlers all over this course and you will eventually understand what it is if you don't understand right now. Right now it's important, you know that we are always going to be extending on the web app to request handler and we are going to write handlers in the form of get handlers or post handlers depending depending on which request the user sends us so if they send a get request we are going to implement a get function inside of our handler if our user sends a post request we are going to implement a post function inside of our handler okay